Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 4. Alright, we need a four-door car. That would have been a good option back there. But it left a little bit too, uh, too quick. So we're going to head down this way. We're going to be going to rob the mafia today, boys. It's going to be interesting. I'm not sure how it's going to work out. Ooh, 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 I want this cab. I'll take this cab. In fact, I'll take either one of them. This one's cool with me. Yo, we should have taken the ice cream truck. That would have been nice. Alright, pick up Pack and the others. So thug. So freaking thug. Get in the car, Packy. Drive to the Waste Depot. Mafia controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. Fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell all those want families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos are a type of cheese. Pegarinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit. We ain't talking about back in the day, son. It's about where you at now. McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in Purgatory. We just passed our objective. We're literally like way underneath us right now. That's crazy. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Let's hear it. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Shit. Fact. That's, That's so bogus. Down to a fucking tea. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader in my ass. You just worry he'll start clamping down on you. Ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Boom. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right. Nice. It's up and over the fence. So we're going to steal the money and then get away in the boat. Get inside the depot and get the cash. Some real gangsta stuff, man. Hold up, let me just take this AK out of my suit jacket. Are those good guys or not? I can't tell. Let's go inside and find this money. Man, that was quite the murder out here, dude. Hey, Becky! I'll go get the money! Which cover me, will you? Get down. Trying to get against this cover and it wouldn't let me. There we go. I think 
that's just about everybody. <laughs> right there. We're just walking through freaking no rush style. Damn, I saw the blood coming out of that guy's mouth. We're gonna need some uh, some more AK-47 ammo. We're down to ten rounds, dude. That's not good. Go to the gun store here soon. Fat stacks, baby, let's go. Okay, kids, I got the cash. Shit, looks like we're not the only ones after it. I'm the back, boys. Got him. Salad. Gordon, Michael, you hold these boys back while me and Nico make a swim for it with the money. Be back at the house, Why did you Make a swim for it. Oh shoot, we're gonna jump out to that boat. Escape from the depot with Packy. Let's go, Packy. Where you at? I got you, homie. Let's go. He said something about keeping the money dry. Are you going to go get the boat or what? Swimming for a day? Sure, my boy. There's the boat just out there. I'll race you. All right, let's go. Swim out and get in the boat. Very solid. You, boat. you got to this fine country in a boat, didn't you, Nico? That don't mean I can drive one. Fuck it, though. I'll give it a try. All right, we're gonna get out of here, man. You pack you back to safety. You got the cash, baby. Let's go. It's a little bit wet, but wet money is still money, baby. Beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Reviving the Angelotis don't figure out it was us. They ripped them off. Don't fucking worry about it. This figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays. It ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I tell you, though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't... <laughs> money or your sister? I'll take your sister. She's a dime piece. Here's your chef. Don't go spending in any Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky. All right. How much we get for that? Decent amount. Eight grand. Let's go, boys. That was a relatively easy mission, too. All right. So the question is, where are we heading next? <laughs> Somebody just lost their sandwich. I feel bad for them. Let's hurry this up. There's a cop right there. I don't think he can see us, though. Dude, that bum just lost his sandwich, and now he's hobbling off. I feel kind of bad for him. Oh, you know what? There's a, uh, a gun shop right down here. Let's go get some more AK ammo. Nico, man. Nico, man. Let's go. Hell yeah! I told you guys we were gonna hook up with her. All right, we're not gonna call her yet. Or actually, we will. We'll set up the date. 
then we're going to uh, we're going to grab some uh, some weapons, and then we're going to go take her out in the day. Kate, uh, it is Nico. Uh, we met with your brother, Becky. Uh, he gave me your number. Hi, Nico. What's up? I was wondering if uh, you wanted to come out with me sometime. Maybe we do something together. Okay. That could be interesting. I don't normally socialize with Packy's gangster friends. <laughs> but, sure. Pick me up in the next hour. See you then. Alright. Let me just so buy my AK-47 ammo first, and then I'm down to pick you up, girl. <laughs> How crazy is that? Alright. AK. Yeah! Looking good. Alright. Stay safe, stay second amendment. Alright, what is this? Packy, is that... Is that her? No, that's not her. That's a Packy mission. We gotta look for our heart. Kate. Woo, that would have been bad if we'd have blew her off. Would have been a bad first impression, boys. Feeling good that we got our AK ammo back, though. Ray, it's a new guy we're gonna be able to start going on missions with. We must go to Little Italy though. We literally were just told not to go to an Italian restaurant and spend our money. All I'm worried about right now is we're about to get a new girlfriend, baby. Hopefully this one isn't an undercover freaking FBI agent. I already had to deal with one too many of those. Here we go, boys. We're at her house. In their brand new purple truck. Hey, you. Shall we go? Take Kate somewhere she would enjoy. So she seems relatively good. Uh, we could go to a bar, burger shot, car wash, pool. Cabaret, bar, restaurant, or bowling. Hmm. I'm just going to take her to the bar since nice. that's the closest. Thanks, Kate. Yeah, it's okay, isn't it? This is nice, isn't it? What's nice? I don't know. Getting out, doing stuff, not working or fighting with my family. Getting to know <laughs> you. It's nice to get to know you, too. It seems like I've gotten pretty close to everyone else in your family. <laughs> Poor bastard, you have. I don't normally socialize with people that know my family. I try to keep those two sides of my life separate. I guess it's nice to be honest for a change. Rather than keeping my secrets about my family from you, you're probably keeping secrets about my family from me. No comment. You don't normally take the guys you date back to meet the family? Date? This isn't a date, Nico. We're just getting to know each other. We might be friends and that's all. I couldn't date you. Someone like my brothers? I couldn't do that to myself. All right, then. This isn't the date. We're just two people hanging out. That's just got it. friend zone. But it's nice. I'm enjoying myself. Me too. Right. I think we're going to be able to close it out, though. I think we're going to get a couple of drinks in, and I think I think things are going to go well. We'll see what happens. Are we taking her back here to kill her, or are we taking her to the bar, Nico? What? of a cool little bar. Really? Look at this. That's it's a little know. beer garden type deal. Nice. Sure. I'd like a drink. Look at my family. 
It's like an old Irish bar. Alright, take Kate back home. This is gonna be fun. Don't worry. No. Why would I worry? Why would I fucking worry? And I'm crazy out drinking with a killer. And with his family so fucked up, I don't even want to talk about it. Why would I worry? What in God's name have I got to worry about? Oh, I'm spurotic, aren't I? Really self-indulgent, really idiotic, pathetic. What are you gonna do now? Shoot me! Listen to the music that's on. Nico is a man. Crazy. It's like Shut some up, like slow please. central music. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. I can't say I expected a harsh. I'm glad this is not my song. Shit, we got the cops on us and we're drunk. Not the best first impression for a date, but... You have arrived. We made it! Oh my gosh. Hey, We're gonna try our fun. luck. Probably not a good nice idea, but... Nico. Cool. Good night, Kate. Cold-hearted bitch! No way, dude. She totally just shut us down. She gave us a thumbs up, but she shut us down for sure. All right, looks like our next mission is going to be with our boy right here. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.